They say that good fences make good neighbors, but in the story you're about to see, good fences make big fights, turning former best friends into bitter enemies. And the start of it all? Trees in the backyard and a juice machine. It may seem like a laughing matter, but it's not to them. Ryan Smith went to the Lone Star State to get the story. This neighbor tale begins in San Antonio at Vanessa Martinez's wedding. A backyard affair with guests including the folks from next door, Mary Lou and Rick Dominguez. There's Rick celebrating. We were very close. We went on vacations with them. Back then, it was nothing for Rick and Mary Lou to share meals with the friendly people a few steps away. The Martinez's. Dinners, cake, all that kind of stuff. Family matriarch Yolanda Martinez might have served up something like this. Yolanda loves Mexican food. But today, can't digest the problems her chosen cuisine seems to have created between the two families. This has been already two years and three months, and it's still going. What's been going on is a knockdown, drag out spat that made bitter enemies out of these former friends. Oh, yeah, it got pretty ugly. It happened online when the then Facebook friends clicked the unfriend button. Why? Believe it or not, it's all mixed up with fruit and vegetables in a juicer like this. Mary Lou wouldn't talk on camera, so Rick did the explaining. We do this thing called juicing, which we've done for years, and it's just real healthy for you. Yolanda remembers what Mary Lou wrote. She had posted that they were into the, the juicing. But the neighbors disagree about all the other juicy details. The actual Facebook posts are long gone. But there's no doubt what each side claims the other wrote squeezed the life out of the friendship. What did they say? They got on Facebook and said, your stupid recipe for juicing gave the whole family diarrhea. She was sending, like, well, if you wouldn't be feeding your family fatty foods and lard and tortillas, and maybe they wouldn't be as big as they are. You got offended. I did. It absolutely juiced up the tension already simmering over this man. Another neighbor who was feuding with Rick over trees between their properties. When you saw that other neighbor having problems with Rick, what did you do? I intervened. Leading to the wall. The simmering tensions convinced both sides to shut the other out and create what today is sort of the Berlin Wall of San Antonio, a wood picket fence built by Yolanda's husband. Dwarfed by Rick's roughly 12-foot behemoth of corrugated metal and wood. Technically, it's a detached covered patio. The fence and the almost Korean demilitarized zone around it with cameras facing back and forth has become a standing monument to neighborly hatred covered on the local news. At the center of this feud, quite literally, is this 12-foot high corrugated metal fence. And making one big headache for the cops. We're back and forth to those residences over and over and over again. Police Chief Bill McManus says the frustrating thing is, for the most part, what the feuding neighbors do isn't breaking the law. But boy, it makes you wonder about those laws. Oh my gosh. Like when Yolanda's husband, Tony, is repeatedly seen knocking down garbage cans using some sort of stick. Rick is convinced it's a cattle prod. It is a cow prod with two electrodes on it. He parades around with it constantly. With a cattle prod? Yolanda denies her family even owns a cattle prod and claims whatever Rick recorded is nothing compared to what he's done to them, starting with that fence. It may be scenic on Rick's side, not so much on Yolanda's. They started painting pictures of pigs on the walls. What did you think when you saw those pictures? Well, that they were calling us pigs. First was the painted pig, then a painted donut followed by a stuffed pig hung off a pole. And then... What is this? That's him. We can't show it, but on this banner, Yolanda says that's a stuffed pig in a simulated sex act, along with an obscene message. What's he do? He's trying to taunt you? I don't know. Rick says what he was doing was responding to a camera Yolanda's family placed 13 feet high, violating his privacy. That's against the law, so I was trying to prove a point. But in some ways, that makes you look vulgar, because you're the one who's posting an F.U. sign and simulating a sex act to a toy pig. Well, tell him to stop videotaping us in our pool. But Rick is in the security camera arms race, too. In fact, he runs a surveillance business out of his home. And as the volley of accusations escalated, Yolanda's daughter, Vanessa, that beaming bride from happier times, claimed she was being violated. We are being watched 24-7. He's enjoying making our lives miserable. Every time we would step foot outside, 
either the front door or the back door, he'd be out there harassing us. How was he harassing you when you would walk out of your house? As soon as we walked out of the house, he would start making the pig noises. Pig noises? <laughs> yep, just like these pig noises, Rick added to video he took of Yolanda and posted on YouTube. Once you get to that point where you are making pig sounds to harass your neighbors, you are emerging as the neighbor from hell. I have tried to be the one to be the strong one, and it's hard to be the rock to try to keep the family together. Especially after the garbage can incident. The animosity was bound to boil over, and sure enough, last January 13th, it got physical. So what's happening here? This is Rick. Yes. Yolanda's second daughter, Yvonne, and Rick on a collision course with a giant trash can. He's getting ready to put the trash can right in front of him. Oh, deliberately pushes it. it, yes. Watch again. Knocks her down. And she didn't have scrapes on her, on her legs, and right there he starts mocking her. But go next door, and it's a totally different view. She comes running towards me, kicks the trash can, fakes a fall, and then calls the police. Seeing this video right here from this perspective, it tells a different story. Of course it does. Still, it's the one incident that led to charges, assault against Rick. He pled no contest and was fined in order to do community service and attend alternatives to conflict training. But could any training prepare him for Yolanda's retaliation against his security cameras? What did you think when you saw this? I was shocked. He's referring to the yard sign. They put up this sign that says pervers next door, cameras pointed at our house and our children. It's hurt our business. Uh, some of our customers are questioning why the neighbor's calling you a pervert. Rick says when the cops told Yolanda to remove the pervert sign, they just kept putting it back up. That was uncalled for because, because nobody believes it except them. This being America, each family filed dueling lawsuits. While justice takes its course, a judge has ordered both families to stop everything. But can any ruling ever get things back to normal on this block? Everyone else here sure hopes so. If I was a neighbor, you'd be interviewing me in prison, okay? I would knock the crap out of them. I'd much rather this be resolved before I go try to sell my house and be like, oh, by the way, there's this huge feud going on across the street. That's not exactly a selling point. If I were there with these folks, I would tell them this, we're all going to get together, we're going to sit down, we're going to laugh at each other, we're going to laugh at ourselves. Maybe we're not going to be best of friends anymore, but we have got to get this enemy stuff behind us. But even the time of peace on earth wasn't enough to get these folks on board with that love thy neighbor stuff. It's the holiday season, maybe you go over with a wreath. <laughs> Some Christmas presents. Hey, how can we make this right? Can I just, if, if we can we turn in, over a new leaf in the new year? If we lived in a fantasy world, that would work. So at this point, they're the ones that need to change. They need to change. You ever think about going over there and just no. giving them a hug and saying, how can we get this thing no. in the past? No. But these are people who used to be your friends. Mm -hmm. But they can also be people that you don't want as an enemy.